Howdy partners and flow gangsters. Welcome back to another YouTube video you guys. Today's video is super special. We actually got a Red Dead 2 video and I am excited. Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm super late to the party. I know this is one of my top three games of all time. I have beat literally after this game, I beat Red Dead Redemption 1 just because I needed to end the story and I needed to see where it went. But if you guys wanna see a walkthrough on this game, definitely let me know in the comments down below. But without further ado, do we have our horse video and our weapons video so we're going to be showing all of our horses and weapons and maybe a few fits and also stay tuned for the end of the video for a bonus this is actually one of my favorite spots in the game uh moonstone pond uh, just a really nice cabin broken down cabin there's some loot over there there's like a money glitch that you could do and stuff i'm probably going to do a tutorial on that maybe but that's not the point the point is as you guys can see from the intro we have reaper this is our boy, bro. This is our newest steed. Um, elite, I believe Albanian, I'm not really sure. Um, but the main thing that I want to go over is the name, you know, the saddle, the stirrups, the saddle bags, bro. Like, look and drip. Like, just, you guys just keep going, bro. Don't don't bother my boy. See, he's taking a dump right now because you guys yeah, made him a little nervous. One of these days. All right. Anyways, this is our boy Reaper. Um, pretty solid name. He... A nice looking stallion, bro. Much, not much we can say about Reaper. Reaper's looking fire. Wait. I forgot, bro. I haven't played in a minute. Reaper's a girl? <laughs> Reaper's a girl? My girl Reaper, bro. Because I, I remember now. I wanted to call her um, Itachi, but then I found out uh, she doesn't have balls. I might go get me a fresh cup, actually, before we continue the video. I like the long hair, but the beard... I don't know, I like seeing his scars in the beard. So I think we're gonna go get the beard chopped up and show you the rest of our horses for John. And then we're gonna go to Arthur. And then again, stay tuned for the bonus at the end. You guys are gonna like that one, I know you will. He's living that lazy chill life, that's why. I think this is it right here, you guys. Look ready for a portrait now. This is Rachel. So first of all, as you guys can see, we got the new beard looking. I'll show you guys that after. What you guys really want to see is Rachel, bro. So Rachel is the first horse that you get in the epilogue. Uh, this is John's horse. You know, we kept her alive. We kept her well. And uh, you already know, bro. Give her a little brush real quick. Going, girl. You're okay. And we'll send her off, yo. But she's taking us to some far places. And um, I think she's fully upgraded, but I'm not sure. But I know she can do this. I said, I know she can, I know she can do this. There she goes. Oh yeah, we also got some new drip on, by the way. Final horse so far for John is gonna be Ezra. I named her from a uh, fairy tale, which is actually funny because I don't even watch fairy tale that often. I've only seen like the first 40, 50 episodes, which sounds like a lot, but there's so many episodes. Like it's actually not a lot. She's taken me a lot of places. We actually stole her from uh, Strawberry. So we stole her from somebody in Strawberry. And uh, ever since then we have been like she, cause she's quick. She's my quickest horse, and I know she doesn't look it, but she, she's a great horse. Honestly, we'll even, we'll even feed her real quick. We'll even feed her, cause she gotta eat, bro. I haven't been on the game in a couple days, so she needs to eat. So that's pretty much it for John's collection. Finally, we have my weapon collection that we are revealing. So you pretty much have the same guns uh, that you do like as Arthur with John. So I don't know if I'm gonna show you guys Arthur's guns, cause they're the same things. We have our Lancaster repeater right here you know what i'm saying very very nice weapon uh we'll go ahead and clean each weapon so you guys get a better view of them but yeah we got the uh pattern leather gripping you know what i'm saying and we'll go ahead and clean it but this is my one of my like one of if not my favorite gun in the game very very well-rounded gun looks super beautiful gold and silver you already know let's go ahead and maintain the lich field so this one looks really nice with that mammoth on there i really like like the look of this one especially it looks really really nice we actually don't have oil to just clean every single weapon but we'll do what we can a very basic springfield i, I don't use this gun so it's, it's just kind of there then we have our bolt action i really love this this is my favorite uh sniper i love it it's really clean let's give you guys a better look but yeah i have a simple clean build on it you know with the gold and stuff i like it though i like it looking clean honestly it's maintained very well we don't need to do anything to it we got our varmint rifle um completely silvered out which is actually really nice nice change of pace uh, you got your i believe bald eagle on the right over there 
And uh, yeah, this thing is glistening like Kodak Black's diamonds, bro. Glistening. Then we got the Carcano. This thing packs a punch, but I don't really use it that often. Only for story missions, I really used it. Uh, but yeah, we got the Wolf. You know, we got the Gold. You know, Trip, Trippy Drip. Moving on, we have our Rolling Block. This thing is one of my favorites, too. Really, really nice. As you can see, by the way, I have it just clean mean pristine gold and silver is really the way to go sometimes with that golden barrel looking drip looking clean got the engravings nothing much else to say this thing packs a punch this is the rare one you can't customize this i'm pretty sure um but this is how your basic uh you know rare one looks really nice engravings though i will say really really nice engravings i won't sleep on it i won't sleep on it i like the rare one too then you have your double barreled shotgun um, you know, again, basic, very, very nice though. Um, definitely needs to be maintained, but yeah, I haven't done much to it cause I don't use it. One of my favorite guns in the game too. Super OP. Um, but really, really fun to use. We got the mammoth with the black, got the engravings. You know what I'm saying? The barrel is looking good. I really like this gun though. This thing is freaking amazing. Freaking amazing. You got your bow, standard bow and arrow, of course. Nothing you can do to it, really. Um, yeah, it's just a bow and arrow. Carbine repeater, one of the first guns you get in the game. Um, again, simple, clean build. Got the gripping, got the gold. Looking nice. These are weapons that you get from a, a bounty hunting mission, uh, doing it with Arthur. Um, but this is one of them. This is Callaway's. This is the last revolver that you get. You can't customize these, which is totally fine. Like... Because they are beautiful as is and they pack a mean punch. But this is Callaway's. You already know, looking clean. That boy Callaway know how to do it. Then we got the Lamat. Now, Arthur loved this gun, bro. You gotta pay respect to the Lamat. Looking drip, pristine condition. I haven't used it in a while, but man, I love my Lamat. Absolutely banger, banger weapon. Then you have your Volcanic Pistol. Classic. Uh,. The first gun I got in St. Denis, um, really, really beautiful, uh, nice looking gun though, nice looking weapon, bro. I just realized I can rotate the weapons for y'all. Um, I don't know what that is at the bottom. It might be a snake head, I'm not sure. Very, very clean, and we got the, uh, the pearl grip on it as well. So next we have our Mauser pistol. I was really excited for this gun, but then I stopped using it really when I started using the other revolvers and stuff but very very simple you got your tiger um but really really nice super like customizable pearl grip again i love that pearl grip you got midnight's pistol this is also another gun that you get from the bounty hunting missions uh very very easy to get these guns by the way it's not hard at all um but yeah it needs a little bit of cleaning but i think she looks nice then you have your semi pistol so this thing this thing packs a punch and it's super quick. I mean, it doesn't really pack a punch, pack a punch, but it is quick. Very, very quick. I want to say the fastest pistol in the game, but I'm not really sure. Um, then you have your M18. This gun's a hack. This gun is crazy, bro. Look at this thing. You know, you're, this is like your M1911s or Model 11, whatever you want to call them, bro. The classics, bro. Your classic, classic guns. This is the start of a new era, new era of guns, and I really, really like it. One of my favorites. One of my favorites for sure. Then you have your sawed off shotgun. I definitely did a lot to this. Um, I used it for a long time with Arthur, but I never used it with John. But yeah, very, very simple. Leather grip on the top is nice in my opinion. Uh, and then you have your standard Cattleman revolver. This is the first gun you get in the game, I believe. Well, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but yeah, I didn't do much to it. Just standard gold. It looks pretty good the way it is though. Besides that, you have John's Cattleman revolver. Um really really nice i haven't done shit to it though but i like it the old feel of it you know i don't have any guns that look like this so i like that then you have flacco's revolver another gun from the bounty missions i have a lot of revolvers you guys the skulls are just clean i really like the detailing on this one though like really really nice revolver it's not it's not the strongest but it's nice then we still have more to go you guys we have granger's revolver or Granger's revolver um really really nice the mission for this was funny as hell too you guys gotta play it but you cover the guy and pick shit and like it's just super funny i'm pretty sure this was the guy though all right and then we have our double x 
We have so many revolvers, bro. It's not even funny. Holy. So our double action revolver. Um, again, another one of the first guns you get in the game. I haven't done anything to it. I like the old school vibe sometimes, you know. Last but not least, the, the Schofield revolver. Now, this is definitely top three, if not top two revolvers for me. To look at the look at it, first of all. This thing is gnarly. It's a shotgun and a revolver. It just reloads extremely slow, but in story mode, that's not a problem at all. I really, really love this weapon. And that concludes the weapon collection. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen, bro. He's still kicking, bro. You already know my boy Arthur with the pirate fit, bro. We got the tricorn hat on, or the tricon or whatever it's called, with the pirate outfit on. We ain't changing shit. I love how it looks, bro. And, like, with the sickness and stuff, bro, like, he just looks like a badass pirate. And for our next horse, we have Buell. Now, these four horses that I'm about to show you are very, very sentimental to me. More than Minecraft dogs, more than anything, they are sentimental. And you guys know how sentimental Minecraft dogs can be. So, like, when they... And, like, again, major spoilers coming up if you haven't played the game. But when they killed your horse, when they killed my horse in a cutscene... I was devastated, man. I was absolutely devastated. It really, really rubbed me the wrong way, but I'm glad that I had to give him. I got to give him a good send off, and I'm also really glad that um, I kept my Arthur save because we kept Buell. But this is unfortunately the horse that died, but he didn't really die because he's still with us. But my boy, hey, bro, get out the way, bro. But my boy Buell, man, like, uh, where do I even start, man? The side missions, like, were super fun. You meet this guy um, in the woods, and basically Buell finesses his leg because uh, he has a prosthetic leg or a fake a wooden leg. So Buell, Buell takes his leg, and Buell is the name of his horse. This is the guy's horse originally. So he takes um, the guy's horse, the guy's leg. And uh, we chase down Buell, we get the we get Buell back and we get the leg back, and then me and the guy become friends and we go hunting and eventually the guy dies while we're chasing a wild boar. So we're bro, that is so loud, brother. You could have you could have did that anywhere else, man. Super interactive environment we're in. Yeah, like I was saying, we were on multiple missions with the guy. He eventually died when we were chasing the biggest wild boar in the game, I believe it was. And uh, we ended up killing the boar. We got the guy's hat, but then we lost the hat. But the main thing is that um, we, we got Buell. You know, because he would have wanted us to have Buell. Um, and we're taking care of him. He looks great. Uh, honestly, he could eat a little bit more. All my horses could definitely eat a little bit more. But um, he's a very strong... He's my strongest horse, I want to say. Beautiful horse. Like his eyes, everything, bro. Like he's seen it. He's seen a lot of shit, and we treat this horse with respect, baby. On to the next horse. Like I said, all of these horses are my favorite horses in the game. I can't really pick a favorite favorite. I know it sounded like Buell was my favorite, but I really don't have a favorite. Like they're all my favorite. This is Butt Stallion. Now we lost our first Tennessee Walker horse that we got, and we lost like multiple horses but these four horses that i have i'm again the most attached to and this one's name is butt stallion after my favorite video game borderlands uh you already know bro waving at the camera and stuff but she knows her name bro she knows her name yo butt stallion is lit with the braids bro like you'll notice some of my horses have the braids man the braids are just too drip too drip to not show man the braids are clean She's looking great, bro. Beautiful, beautiful horse. I love Butt Stallion. She's taking me through a lot of places. All of these horses are level four, treated with respect and, and vigor and just amazing, amazing horses, bro. I love Butt Stallion. Probably the best name that I've made. <laughs> the best name that I've given a horse in this game. Butt Stallion. I don't care what anybody says. All of my horses are beautiful, bro. This is Shiva Jr. Jr. Or Junior the second now, or Junior the first. Uh, you know, this is a, like it's really like it's not even about the beauty of the horse, but they are all beautiful. Don't get me wrong, and gorgeous and handsome. But with Shiva Junior, man, the story's crazy. So at first, um, I got this horse, golden horse. You know, I was saving up, and I got her, and I called, I called her Shiva. You know what I'm saying? I called her Shiva. You know, from from the Hindu uh, after the Hindu gods and stuff like that. And um, you know, just just. Shiva, bro. She just looked like a Shiva, called her a Shiva. And then she got killed 
by um, bounty hunters. So they were hunting me and they killed her. By the time I got back to her, she was dead. I didn't have any re revives or something like that happened, but she died um, in the worst way. I think she died and I died and that's why I wasn't able to revive her. I think that's what happened. So then we got another one and we also, I think we called, I think we also called him Shiva. Um, but you know, it was a guy. And, um, you know, but he was, he was a scaredy cat. I'm not going to lie. And I'm not trying to roast my horses, you know, but he was a scaredy cat. He was not as like brave and like friendly as like the girls, um, at least from what I noticed and stuff. And like, eventually I think he just fell and like died. And I, I don't know, but yeah, I, I got pissed at that too. But eventually we now have Shiva Jr. I believe the second now she, but let's just call her Shiva, bro. Shiva is gorgeous friendly she's the most interactive horse that i have she interacts with npcs i'm telling you these horses have minds of their own she knows she knows we're talking about her too bro look at her waving her head man w shiva for real bro one of my favorites but again all of these are last but not least we have tornado bro look at her glisten this is a white albanian one of if not the rarest horse you can get in the game you got to go all the way up north to find her in one of the legendary spots. I might do a tutorial on that one day as well. Because I, I don't know. I want to kind of get into tutor tutorials. Because I love tutorials. But I watch them all the time. But yeah. without for, I mean this is our last horse that we're showing. That's why I'm taking it a little bit slow. But the re there's a reason behind the name Tornado Bro. I'm telling you. There's reasons behind everything. While we talk about her. Our last and final horse Tornado. Um, with the two main characters, let's, uh, let's, let's go for a little ride out. Why don't we? Let's see how she rides, you know what I'm saying? This is, she is a great horse. Again, like I said, super rare, but the reason I called her Tornado is because she, it's not just that she's fast, bro. She's, she was the most annoying animal that I have dealt with on this entire game, bro. When I tell you, like, she made me feel the wor like i was the worst player with the lasso she she made me feel like the worst player with the lasso bro but eventually we chased her and we chased her for like 45 minutes if not an hour bro most people will catch her in like 10 20 minutes maybe five minutes two minutes but me it took an whole entire hour to catch her bro but it just made it that much more special when we got her and i just had to name her tornado because she was just spinning around spinning around the whole map like a tornado bro and i haven't done any cosmetic any like anything to her you know what i'm saying this is how she looks this is how she came this is how she looks freaking gorgeous horse bro last horse bro and with that being said, we'll ride out into the sunset with Tornado. But this is not the last horse of the video. This is just the last horse uh, with the two main characters in Red Dead Redemption 2, baby. W horses. Whoa. W horses. Well, this is the first bonus, you guys. This is my GTA Online character and horse. Really quick. So this is my boy Feller. You already know, bro. That's my boy Feller. That's my boy Feller. Hey, Feller. I named him after my uh, first horse in... Uh, in the game in story mode uh feller my tennessee uh my tennessee horse that i had with arthur i don't even remember exactly how he died but he died man like i said before and uh you know something special about feller bro like he matched the drip Come on, move it. he matches the drip for real you can see his name you know what i'm saying we let's hop on let's hop on feller real quick bro you know what i'm saying he's taking us the entire way online i have no other horses because they are very expensive online. Let's give him, let's give him a little treat. But yeah, my boy's level four. He got there really quickly. He's looking really good, bro. Like muscular as shit. But this is my boy, bro. You already know, bro. Goes with the fit. Just the drippiest horse he had done ever seen, fella. And that's why we named him Feller. But on to the final bonus of the video. The thing that I've been telling you guys that you need to just wait to the end to watch is coming up in the next clip. Let's go. New challenger has appeared type shit, bro. Look, bro. Oh my God. First of all, before we even show the horse and talk about the horses, the assassin fit is my favorite fit in any Red Dead Redemption game online or not. It looks absolutely fantastic especially on uh john but on jack it looks clean too bro simple clean mean and pristine and really quick um let me just show you guys my guns so we got the semi most op gun in the game like i said they added gold feature well i haven't said that in this video but they added gold 
feature. I don't know how long ago. I'm pretty sure when they released the PS4 version, they did that. But very, very nice. Very, very nice. Then we have our explosive rifle. I got to show you guys this thing in action, though. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Hardcore. Oh, my. Hardcore. Hardcore. Let's go. No, no. Hardcore is crazy, y'all. Hardcore is crazy. I beat the game on Hardcore, by the way. I had, oh my god. Hardcore is wild. Then we have our bolt action rifle. Again. So good. So good. So good. Our Henry repeater. You know what I'm saying? But you can't really see the guns too well, but... The least I could do is fire them off for y'all. We got our repeater carbine. Ah, gotta love those gun sounds. Then we got the Winchester. Then your Springfield. You know? Bolt action. Yeah, you know. Ah, that's everything right there, right? I think that's everything. Alright, so then you have your rolling block for snipers. As you guys can see it on my back. This is the sniper scope. I really like it. Um, but yeah. Oh, you can see the guns. My bad, y'all. My bad. Then you got your... So that's it for that. Uh, you have your pump action shotgun. This thing's also pretty nice. Very similar to the other gun. Uh, then your sawed off. I believe the first shotgun you get in the game for most people. Pretty nice. Pretty powerful, pretty powerful. Then you have your double barreled shotgun. You know, simple, clean. I like it. That's it for shotguns. This is the knife. This is our pause knife. Sick, sick knife, sick knife. This thing skins like a beast. You have your Schofield revolver. Yes, it is in this game, and I love it. Fantastic weapon. Then your double action revolver. This thing's quick. This thing is quick in this game, bro. This game, and this game's dead eye is sick. Like, I wish you guys could see it. The high power pistol is the best pistol in the game. Very OP. Just very, very... It one-shots everything. Your Volcanic Pistol. Never really use it in this game, but still, nevertheless, very, very nice. Very, very nice. Can't go wrong. Semi-Auto is probably the fastest fire. This thing shoots ridiculously quick, bro. It feels so OP when you use it. And then the Cattleman. The first, uh revolver you get let's show our horse i think we called her storm at the end of the day i'm pretty sure like all horses are female in this game i i might be mistaken though but this is storm bro we have gone through like 10 horses in this game i shit you not bro like 10 horses and i got attached to like the first four after that i told myself don't get attached to the horses in the first game, bro, because randomly a panther will come and just kill your horse. There's no horse reviver, you know what I'm saying? So early game, when you are not, when you don't have the contracts and stuff, you won't get your horse back. But this specific horse, this specific horse, I haven't respawned her, used contracts or nothing, and I found her. I found her um, somewhere, I think in Mexico, no, not Mexico, what am I saying? But I found her in America, bro, she has died. I shit you not, like three times herself, and the same horse keeps coming back, bro, the same horse. So I don't know if this is Junior or whatever, but she's a stallion, bro. And with that being said, bro, that's going to close out the video with our last guy, John. Um, you know, honestly, I don't, feel, I don't feel like taking this fight right now. I don't feel like taking this fight. I'm kind of trying to just close out my video, officers. Keep the Henry on our back. Let's go. Bro, these guys are zooming. But yeah, with that being said, guys, that's going to close out the video, bro. Red Dead 1, amazing, amazing game, too, bro. I had to just show you guys, you know, my collection really quick. And you know what, bro? These guys are bothering me. So let me show you the real power of Dead Eye in this game, bro. Like I was trying to show you guys earlier. Yeah, Dead Eye in this game is ridiculously strong, ridiculously powerful. Just super. What the f? I know y'all saw that. Gotta love the dead eye. And you can kill all the cops easily, and you don't even have to run away. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah. 
again guys with that being said that's going to close out the video thank you guys so much for watching bro this was a great great video to film i had a blast man shout out to the horses shout out to john shout out to jack shout out to arthur shout out to my online character rich flows you already know bro and with that being said i am out guys and uh, if you guys want to see more red dead content you let me know bro me and my cousins play online all the time so if you guys want to see some red dead online or red dead story mode you guys let me know and with that being said i'm out peace baby